Hello everybody and welcome to my video. Um, just, this is going to be a really quick video. Um, we're going to be looking at Sona X3's uh, FX chains and what they are and how to use them. Uh, okay, so as I said it's going to be an extremely quick video. Um, what we'll do is I've just got a few empty tracks here and what I want to do is make up my own new uh, preset basically and uh, to have my own favorite uh, effects in them. So let's right click on an effects bin just on an empty track um, and add an effects chain down the bottom there. So once you do that you're faced with this uh, pretty empty boring looking uh, interface. So just going through the interface itself uh, we have just the title of the uh, current effects patch that we're using. Uh, we can edit that and modify it how we please. Uh, to the right of that we have the global on off switch which can also be affected within the track. On the left we have an input fader as well as the uh, meter and on the right we have an output meter and fader as well. Okay so what we want to do is start adding effects to our effects chain. Um, so let's go down here and right click on in audio effects so let's add an EQ to this one there we go. Okay, so now you can see that that's instantiated down here. So, uh, but it's not a, actually an effects chain just yet. Uh, to have a nice, decent chain, let's add some more effects. So we'll right click again, put more audio effects, and let's just put a delay or something in here. We'll add that one. Okay, so we've got that, and just finally, let's add a compressor at the end of it. So, um, Sinitis again. Okay, so you can see there now that we have uh, an EQ, a delay, and a compressor. So these are all instantiated on this one track. So let's get rid of that for now. Okay, so close that down. Okay, so now there are two main ways we can save this. We can right click on there, and we can save effects chain preset. We can give it a name. So we'll just call it effects chain one, just for this demonstration. Save that. So now that's saved. Okay, and the second way we can save is just to click and drag, and drop it into the uh, plugins bin in the browser. But because I've already saved it, I won't go ahead and do that again. So now let's go down here, and if we open up effects chain we'll actually see where I've actually done this one. So here's that effects chain that I've just saved. Okay, <clears throat> so in future, if I want to call up that same effects chain, all I have to do is click and drag from my browser, and there it is. And that's that's as easy as it gets at, for, this, uh, for this video. I'll show you just a couple of other little things we can do. Um, let's just say if we want to open up the effects chain but have the individual plugins that we have in that chain show up here. To do that all we need to do is hold shift and drag it into there and there they are. So we'll delete that one for now. Okay now let's just say we've got a whole bunch of uh, different uh, plugins already on a certain track and we decide hang on no I want to get rid of that and I want to add just my effects chain to it. <clears throat> to do that, all you need to do is hold Alt, click and drag, and there you go. It overwrites everything that was previously in that effects bin, which is really handy. Okay, um, one more thing I want to show you about our effects chains is we can actually set up within this user interface controls for our plugins within the user interface. Um, you know, the best way I can do it is to show you is, so let's add, you've got all these functions here when you right click within the empty space, so we've got add a knob, add a button, or we've got this function here, learn a knob, or learn a button. We also are able to customize the user interface, but I'll leave that for a different video entirely. So what we're going to do first, let's say we'll learn a knob. Okay. So what happens is now I've clicked on learn a mob. Uh, sorry, now I've clicked on learn a knob. 
we'll get straight into it. So let's say I want to affect the compressor and if I want to add a knob for let's say the threshold so I'll click on the threshold and just move it around a little okay so now we'll close that down right click again sorry and then there we go so it says now one parameters were touched during learn are you sure you want to assign these controls so we'll say yes and we'll just wait a little bit for it to actually uh, do its thing and some I've noticed sometimes that this does take a little bit of time but there we go I've just closed it down and reopened it but now we see here we have the threshold knob here but what we want to do is make sure it's actually working and it will always work but just for demonstration purposes if you look at the threshold here now I will now move it by using this knob here which is absolutely fantastic another thing we can do is we can just go to add a knob or a button so for this instance we'll add a knob and we want to do a knob for the ratio so let's just call it ratio and it's in position 2 the destination now what that means is you have to tell it where it's actually coming from so we want to open up the EQ sorry no the compressor and set the ratio value okay so we'll say okay to that so now what that's done is that's now in control of this ratio here here we go it works fantastic now there there are a lot more functions that you can do here you can narrow uh, how much of the threshold you want to be able to affect from here or how much of the ratio but I'm not going to go into that this was just a very basic overview of how to do effects chains so um, I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you give it a thumbs up and a like um, I will do more and if you want other certain things within um, Sonar feel free uh, hit the, me the comment section below and I'll do whatever I can Okay, guys, thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time. Bye.